is going on everybody so as you see in the title of this video we're going to be talking about Shiro now most of you know I've been an extreme supporter of Shiro from the very beginning I think I got in on day three right and I'm not even a gamer but the project they presented looked like they were trying to be a professional cryptocurrency. Everything was clean. The white paper was good. Everything was professional. There was always devs in the chat. So when I saw all that, I'm like, hey, this is like it could be something good. Like, you know, they're, they seem pro extremely professional. Like, you know. The website looks good. The project looks good. The team is always in the chat, right? So if you notice, most of my videos in the beginning, once I got into this project, were all about Shiro. And as time has progressed, I started getting a, a vibe like, hmm, maybe they're not what they're presenting themselves as, right? So the videos kind of dried up. I, posts here and there because I'm still obviously an investor but today was a tipping point right when you as a cryptocurrency take it upon yourself to hire a porn star to represent your company you're no longer professional I no longer take you serious now the jokers that think this was a fantastic marketing ploy, who are you marketing to? Because a majority of her fans are like 50 year old fucking men that sit at home, most of them don't have jobs and they pay the $2 subscription a month to see her get naked. So you think they're gonna drop thousands of dollars in a cryptocurrency? You already know the answer. So, at first, I didn't really go off on it. Like, I went to Telegram, I went to Discord, kind of see what the community was saying. And I saw guys in there that have been with me in this project since the very beginning. Like, hey, this is cringe. This is nasty. Like, you're supposed to be a professional company. Like, you're literally going to Dubai to the Crypto Expo. You're supposedly getting an award for your hard work and all the stuff you've done. And one of the developers that I talked to all the time that I had been talking to, I messaged him and I said, Hey man, what is this shit? Like you're supposed to be a professional project. Like out of all the people that you could have brought in to represent your brand, you bring in a porn star. And, and here's, here's what's crazy, right? So most, no one's knocking her profession, right? I've never once on any of my posts today talked bad about her as a person. People are entitled to do whatever they want. It's their life, right? But when I go on her page and I scroll down and right below, hey, I'm on the Shiro family or whatever post she made is her with a dick in her mouth. And that's what you want representing your brand, your company. And here's what's crazy. So like I said, a lot of guys that have been in just as long as I have were really upset about it, right? So I reached out to the developer. I was like, hey, man, you know, you can clearly see like this was a terrible PR move. And he said, we stand by our decision. As soon as he said that, fuck these people. Seriously. They can go fuck themselves. Every one of them. Fung all of them. And, and here's their rationale, right? So I'm like, you know what? This is like a Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering card game. A lot of kids, a lot of teens are going to be our base, right? And the only thing they could come back with is, well, kids shouldn't be in cryptocurrency. So I'm going to rebuttal that. They literally have physical card packs that they're releasing in Dubai. Who's going to play physical card packs? Is it going to be 
30 year old people? Is it going to be Twitch gamers? Is it going to be TikTokers? No, it's going to be kids. They can take their card and go trade with someone else so they can battle them in person, face to face. That's who's going to use physical cards. And what are they going to do once they have physical cards? They're going to want to be able to get online and check the game out and maybe play their friends on there or see if they can get a different uh, beast that they don't have in their card pack. And then, of course, people are like, well, they, they need a crypto wallet. No, they don't. Because the game, there's going to be a free portion of the game that you can play if you don't own any cards. They've already said that. So that way people can check the game out if they want to get involved and they don't have to pay money and kind of check it out. So what, what are you doing? You just disgraced your entire brand. And here's why I'm so mad about this. Because when the developer says, we, we back our decision, just a month and a half ago was my girlfriend's daughter's 11 year old or 11th birthday, right? And they had a wolf submission contest where you could draw a wolf, submit it, and win like a founder's pack or whatever, right? So she actually took the time to draw a wolf because it's her favorite animal. I submitted it to the dev and I said, hey, you know, she's 10. She's going to be 11. She drew this. She's in love with your project. And they made her a card, right? With her drawing on it and gave it to me to give to her for her birthday. Do you know what she does? You know what she does? Every single day, she goes to the website and looks to see if there's any new wolf designs on the page. She goes on her mom's Twitter and she looks up Shiro to see if anybody put new wolf art on the page because that's her favorite animal. And you're telling me that I shouldn't be upset or it's okay that an 11 year old kid is scrolling down your Twitter and the first thing she sees is someone with one of your t-shirts on and if she happened to click on that link and go to that girl's page, she's got a bunch of dicks in her mouth. These people are acting like fucking playboys, right? They got a fat little marketing wallet because they've been around a little bit. They quit using it because at the very beginning they were doing YouTube videos, paying YouTubers out the ass every single day. It was supposed to be like a hundred days of YouTubers, right? So there really hasn't been much marketing other than them buying a Lamborghini and they're going to give it away, right? So you ask yourself, what is, what is going on? Because when I invest my money in a company or a project, I do it under the premise that you're going to be professional, that when you make a decision, it has all your investors in mind. And what they just did was an absolute disgrace to their brand, to themselves, to the community. And I want no part of that. But here's where I'm going to be different this time. Because they already banned me on Discord. They already banned me on Telegram. And when Mononoke did that, the first thing I did was went to Uniswap and I dropped trillions on their ass. And I was into profit, so I didn't care. But here's what I'm going to do this time. Because there's a lot of people that followed me into this project and I have multiple wallets, right? Multiple wallets. I'm gonna ride this one out because I wanna hurt them. I'm gonna hurt them this time. I'm gonna wait till they get their market cap and there's all this momentum and all these big things are happening. I'm gonna fucking drop the hammer on them. And everybody that I brought in the project, I already texted them and told them, hey, check this out. Look who they got with the t-shirt on. Go check her page out real quick. And guess what? They're going to drop the hammer on you too. And before you get a, a clever idea, Fung and the rest of you, I've already got people on the ground that I know personally in the UK that's going to have all the details I need if you decide to rug people. So you better really think twice if you think you're going to fucking rug people because it's not going to end well for you. 
And you can take that to the bank. Up to this point, for the most part, you are a professional project. And you just disgraced yourself of all the hard work that you've done. And I want you as a current investor or somebody that is thinking about investing, go to their telegram. Very seldom is there an actual developer in there anymore. And the whole fucking chat is nothing but memes and sexual shit. I brought a holder into this project. She bought, I think, 75 trillion tokens. Went in there, said hi. You know, she's a cute girl. People kept sending her sexual shit. She's like, hey, you know, I'm, I, I got a, a boyfriend and a kids. You know, can you please kind of like lay off that stuff? I'm in here just to see about the coin and, you know, updates and whatever. And she like called me and was like, hey, this is the most unprofessional, disgusting telegram I've ever been involved with. I'm deleting telegram and I'm selling out of my position. And if you don't believe me and you think this is FUD, go to the telegram and sit in there for a couple hours and watch what they do. It's ran by a bunch of fucking kids. It is. It's fucking just trash. It's unprofessional. And like I said, this time I'm doing it different. I'm going to hold. I can be as patient as I need to be. And I'm going to fucking drop the hammer on them. And I'm going to hurt them. Because the second you censor people that speak out, nah, I got you. So if you think I'm going to let up anytime soon, not a fucking chance. So you can take that to the bank.